Mighty Beer. Not many Gamer here, and we're back. Uh, real quick, I just want to show you something. I went and actually grabbed a water bucket because you're going to need it in the next area. So, uh, those of you who are playing along, come and get go get one. Uh, if you don't want, you can wait and see why for later. So it's up to you. And we just head up these stairs and head to this, and here you get your first loading screen. Now those usually don't take very long as you saw, so don't worry about that, but watch out for these guys. You want to make sure you jump over them, because you can't hurt them right now. You can certainly try, but you're not going to do any damage. And don't worry, even if it catches your uh, thing on fire, you still get it back, so don't worry. Anyway, here's the pipe area. You definitely want to save here. This is the first area where it's possible to die. What am I going to do? I can't get back to town now. The town? Are you referring to the coal mining town? Yes, I am. How do you know of it? A friend of ours lives there. Is that so? Well, in order to get there, the cappers need to be taken care of first. The cappers? When told us about it, what exactly are they? They're these dangerous blobs of fire that are clogging up all of the pipes. Hmm. And since they're blocking up the pipes, the machines in the town have stopped running. Well, we came all the way out here. We certainly won't let these cappers stop us. We don't have anything to get rid of them. Oh, where's an ice boomerang when you really need it? Keep that name in mind. An ice boomerang? That's right. Ice boomerangs are the only things that can cool them down. You know where we can find one? I seem to recall the evil pigs throwing it to the lava below. We couldn't get to it. <laughs> well, we need to get it. We must get into the town. Well, if you know of a way to get it, be my guest. But be careful. You don't want to get yourself killed. <laughs> a game that actually uses the word Use kill. Use the chains to get to places you can't reach. Well, good luck. Pulls off and disappears. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't remember, but I don't think I explained it anywhere either. As I said before, Tuba, he can't talk. Uh, your character actually does uh, explain that to one of the, the characters at some point. At least they were supposed to. I, th I, least I remember that happening. But anyway, if you want, you can actually pull up this flaming red chest, which you can't grab because well, it's on fire. So, yeah. Also, there's this enemy over here. Um, if you get hit by it, I think it like poisons you or something, so you gotta be careful. Let's see? But yeah, you can't hurt him right now, so. Yeah, just stay away from him pretty much. <laughs> anyway, this is why you need the bottle, the bucket of water. When you talk to this guy. Water? Thirsty. Well, what do we do then? We grab our water bucket. pay you back somehow. All right. Hmm. I've got it. I'll give you some information. It's supposed to be a secret, of course. Have you ever heard of the Tower of Courage? No. Well, there was something about a legendary tower that nobody can find anymore. In fact, 
I am on a journey looking for that very tower. There are all sorts of rumors about the fabulous treasures hidden in that tower. What do you think? Isn't it enough to stir your blood? <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. The legendary Tower of Courage. I'll find this tower and get my hands on all its treasures. Yeah, anyway, that's what you get for helping him out. You learn about the Tower of Courage. Don't worry, it's not important yet, so... You know, don't worry yourself over uh, hearing it. Now, these capers, as you saw, they will actually, like, jump up whenever you're near them. So you gotta be very careful not to, um... You know, get hit by them. Now, since we don't have a hammer... Yeah, we're gonna get a hammer item. You can't knock this switch down and open that door, so you have to wait a little bit on that. Anyway, we want to read this sign. Lowering the train makes the other train rise. Lower it all the way and lift it up to bring up clumps of mud. That's actually important, so you do want to do that. And this is also the ice cream ring. Go ahead and uh, slowly come down here to grab that. You can come all the way down here and you'll actually see the lava. It looks straight out of, like, Super Mario 64, actually, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, though, uh, you want to come up here and grab this gem that you saw. You want to jump over that guy. Uh, you're not going to be able to get that red treasure chest right away. It's easier once you get rid of those clapper things or whatever. See, there's no way to jump over this one, as you can see, because this fire is too high. So come on down here, and notice that that's on fire, you can't do anything about that. Oof. No, 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 no. You can only jump down. Okay, so good. Watch out for that guy, because he'll shoot fire at you. so it'll actually pick up mud when it comes back up. Fun fact though, if you go down there and touch the lava, <laughs> he scurries back up the uh, thing. Hmm, even that doesn't hurt it. I thought it did. Oh god. Be very careful though, because it's very easy to get killed here at this low health, like I just did. <laughs> and there's your game over screen. Like I said, you only get one life. Don't worry though, I'm used to that. Uh, save? No. Load data. I'm okay getting the boomerang and all that again, for the sake of uh, not having a death on my hands. Not that it really matters too much. It also means I gotta give the water to this guy again, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You're back. Okay, viewers, I got us back to where we were. <laughs> And, um, took care of the clapper guy that was on there, whatever the hell he's called. I see how there's, like, some clay up there. To get that, you're gonna have to, uh, grab onto a chain. Oh wait, you gotta wait for this guy to pop up. 
Then once I do, just grab on and you can actually go for a ride. <laughs> Not that that does you any good, it's just fun to do. I hear you want to be careful shoot your uh, ice boomerang at this guy. Grab onto him, use him to grab that. I can't remember if you can grab that stuff and still be okay. faster. Go ahead and grab these gems. And then you want to jump over and grab this chain. That's not important right now, but you will have to do it for later. Also, you want to come over here and look at this. The laughing door. You can't enter it in your present state. Yeah, that's uh, another thing that's going to be important later. The trolley entrance. Let's save it, shall we? This actually leads to a uh, mini game. One that kind of sucks, to be honest. <laughs> but you'll see what I'm talking about. I don't know if we can actually even do it right now, to be honest. I'm repairing this trolley. The wheels fell off earlier today. <laughs> if you want to use it, you'll need a trolley ticket. But you have to wait until it's fixed. This has to be the best hammer in coal mining town. Hmm. Underground trolley stop, currently under repair. Sorry for the inconvenience. This is the trolley stop, all right, but without a trolley license, I can't let you ride. That miner with the license is injured. He's resting in the town tool shed. That's important. So you're not allowed to ride right now because there's not a trolley anyway, and you don't have a trolley license. Um, the, like I was saying, the mini game though that you can do with that is incredibly, incredibly annoying. To say the least. Um, it took me so many tries to do it. I'm not even kidding. Um, the fact is, um, it's really not all that difficult. That's the funny part. It's really not that difficult. However, the fact is, that, um, despite how easy it technically can be, there is a slight, uh, bit to it that makes it difficult. So you gotta be careful. Okay, let's call this guy up. Get those gems. whenever they are, uh... You know, free like that. Like, you know, um... Um, no longer on fire. I don't think they can hurt you anymore. Okay, that's not how you open it. I got a banana. Ah, 
that's how you do it. There's a gem down here, so come down here and grab it. Of course, don't fall into the lava. And then you want to grab this, the mud ball surprise. The mud ball surprise, well, it actually uh, does something really important later. So you definitely want to grab it. Try for those that are not those gems. Eek. We're okay. this thing and it says, Magic Color wants some moisture. Um, you got this. Beware of the hot water. Hit the switch with the hammer to turn on the hot water. Well, since we don't have a hammer, we can't do that. But if you were to have the bucket and a hammer, you could actually stand under this and get boiling water. But if you try to give it to the uh, guy who is thirsty, because if you wait till the point where you get the hammer, uh, you can be a real dick and just be like, oh here, I got some boiling hot water. And if you try to hand it to him, he'll be like, I can't drink that, <laughs> more or less. It's kind of funny. Anyway, you want to come over here. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Well, if you talked to the guy, he would have told you that you need to pull the chains to open the door. Well, thanks to you, we can go home now. <coughs> Thank you. We don't have much to offer, but please feel free to stay as long as you wish. Hi, Grand. Long time no see. Why, hello there, Zippo. How are you? I'm doing fine. I see. But the town's machines still aren't running. We need to get rid of the cappers. Drat! Can we still get to Tabby's house? <laughs> well, you can go in there and try to oop, get up to the place, but you don't want to. Especially if you haven't got them all. You might as well wait. I love how you can climb up a wall like that. That just doesn't make much sense. Oh, there's one. Also, those mushroom guys are killable, but only after um, they, um, you know, use their milk attack or whatever. Share what I'm talking about. You know, head up to it like you're gonna attack it. And it'll try to do that. Then you just jump on it. Oh, here we go. More magic wings? I don't need that. Anyway, here's the last clapper. I, I forgot about him. The last capper. I actually forgot about that one. I won't lie. Before. Have you used the animal dash? Its fast speed and jumping distance are mighty convenient. I remember when I was a kid, I actually animal dashed up the stairs one time after playing this game. <laughs> you move by holding square. Also, you can use a weapon to extend distance and power. I've seen it work against enemies. I'm trying to... Hmm. Not sure if it actually worked. Whoa. Oh, I 
I just got the treasure chest stuck in the lava. Anyway, there's the next mouse house. Remember that for later. I don't know if you can jump to where the chain is, so I want to try. <sighs> I can't tell you how many times I've died in this area alone. Aha, I got you. I think you can actually kill them with a regular weapon after you um, hit them with the one thing if you want. Nope. Yeah, my goal is to try to get all of the, you know, treasure chests as I can, you know. Let's see if I can't reach the uh, thing if I come over here. Somehow I think that's the, some, like, some part of me thinks that that's probably what I'm looking for. So let's get up here. Oh yeah, there's an AP box over there, but you can't get to it until later. There's the mud ball. Okay, jump up here. Now, this video might be a little long, because I don't really remember how long it was when I last did my, you know, video, so... treasure chest later. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here since I have no idea how long it was. So when we come back, uh, we will continue on with this. And um, I'll just meet you um, over by the door with that one guy because I want to see if we can find out how much is in that AP box. So till then everyone, bye. Oh, and also I might go ahead and get that chest off screen too, just since it's just going to be easier for me to do that. Alright, alright. Bye for now.